Little known fact about me, but I'm crazy allergic to cats. <laughs> Luckily, not in digital card games, because today's video is all about Goose. In Marvel Snap, Goose is a two power card that costs two energy. Goose's card text reads, ongoing, nobody can play four, five, or six cost cards at this location. Goose is a little understated at two power, but acts like a soft lockdown of a location. That is a valuable and powerful ability to have, if you know how and when to deploy it. After all, with great power comes great responsibility. The character Goose is a very recent addition to the Marvel Universe. Indeed, she doesn't show up in the Marvel Encyclopedia, new edition published in 2019. Total aside, but this is a great resource and is absolutely vital for my base level research in these videos. Definitely get yourself a copy if you enjoy my stuff. Anyways, back to Goose. She isn't in that book because she was introduced in the 2019 film Captain Marvel, which so happens to be the only time she's been featured in any Marvel properties. I don't want to spoil the whole movie right now. Uh, you should watch it sometime if you haven't. As a top line summary though, Goose is a major character's pet throughout much of the film and mostly a background character. Until she suddenly demonstrates her true strength with great vigor. Her Marvel Snap card is very similar. With only two power at her two energy, she is an unassuming presence on the board. However, if you can pair her with other cards that gain a lot of power or somehow stack with her, you can block your opponent's potential counterplays and win the location. The way I chose to use her was by focusing on her keyword, ongoing. There are a lot of ongoing cards in Marvel Snap, including quite a few cheap ones that you can put alongside Goose to make up for her low power. Additionally, you can put Spectrum down on turn six for a minimum of two extra power per card on your board. If you have Wong and Mystique down, forget about it. All of a sudden, your little goose is a two energy, 10 power monster, blocking any reaction from your opponent. Now, most often during gameplay, you won't see the impact of goose. It's just not visually obvious when an opponent is blocked from a decision they may have otherwise made. But don't be down on our little kitty. She's a really strong card, and I hope you enjoy these games with her in them. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, engage, all the stuff we need. I'm enjoying doing these, and uh, I would love the support for the channel. Have a great day. Am I Sunspot on Sinister London at the start? I might, just in case there's a raft out there. Absorb a lot of energy. Oh, they got theirs on the raft. Bummer. Better not be like the space thrown or some trash. Although if it is, I'll win. Super system, that's fine. You know, Captain America. Avengers! Assemble. Do I try to fight for the raft, or do I get Wong down? Because I don't have... Now I'm going to fight for the raft, I think. Ooh, nice. That's an interesting early iron heart. So if I Ant-Man Wong... Wong will end up over at sewer system, and next turn I can, yeah, I'm gonna snap, this is gonna be sweet, because they won't have anything, they won't be able to play any other high power cards here on the raft, because of Goose. Goose is blocking any four, five, and six cost cards at this location. I'll be fill, they, they might fill it, and we might both get the zero cost six card. I don't know what happens if we both fill it at the same time. Well, it doesn't matter. I am. Iron Man. Interesting. So I am Iron Man. Okay, so Spectrum is going to go off 
It's the same as if I have Mystique because these are two little locations. So Spectrum's going to pop here, and she'll dump eight power on the middle because she'll hit twice, and then she's going to summon herself over here on Sewer System again. And she'll hit eight power in the mid too. She's also gonna hit both Wongs for five. I'm gonna 100% lose Sinister London, uh, but I think there's a really strong chance that I'm gonna win the sewer system. The question is, so this will be 16 extra power. I'll be up to 31. They don't need to hit very much on the raft to win, unfortunately. So I'm not gonna snap them back. I don't want to lose eight, but I, I think that there's a really good chance. Oh, it doesn't matter. They put Dino over there. Oh, that was a mistake. Well, I just won. I should I should have snapped him. But they couldn't they couldn't put Dino here because Goose. Goose won me the game. Yay! Yay! I, I'm super allergic to cats. I dislike cats, but that's a good kitty right there. Goose, you're a good kitty. You just won me that game. Prevented Dino from going there. Nice kitty, Goose. Nice kitty. <laughs> Victory! That was exciting. Look at that, that's so cool. That's perfect. I'm just gonna put Sunspot down in one of the other lanes. Sunspot must be one of the most popular cards. Awesome. Think I can do it again? I mean, this isn't Sinister London, obviously, or it might be, uh, but this is a very similar hand to the last game. Take Wakanda and MC. I'm looking at Esmo on the raft just to protect it. And then either Ant-Man or Captain America, I don't know, but I'll fill in this last slot. Maybe Ant-Man, because then uh, Sunspot can absorb some more energy. But Captain America will probably give me more power. Just not entirely sure what what their strategy is. Okay, brave. Hmm. And Captain America's probably a little bit more powerful. It's interesting that Goose let me play Captain America at four cost. I guess it's still Goose is recognizing Captain America as a three power minion. Avengers! Assemble. That's very good. Blue Marble is incredible for me. Absolutely incredible. Looking at Mojo, Ant Man, and then next turn Iron Man, Blue Marvel, possibly. The raft is is still risky, certainly. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, but, but, yeah. This is Jubilee. Okay, so they'll fight for Monster Island. That's great. I'm, I'm glad I abandoned it. Black Widow's unfortunate. But I'm glad that I went for that play. Yeah, so Mar uh, Iron Man Blue Marvel is going to be quite a lot. I, I... Blue Marvel is only going to give me plus four power here, plus one more for Sunspot because I'm only using five of my six energy. So I'm going to be at 21. They need to gain 14 power to, to beat me at the raft. And here I'll be at Ant-Man's going to be at six. Iron Man's going to be at, or Ant Man will be at seven. Iron Man will be at one. So 14. I don't know if Mojo will go off, but this is six. Uh, I, I don't I don't know what the final power will be over here. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, Magneto. Oh, that was. Oh, I am. Magneto I am. on Monster Island. That just won him the game. Or no, it didn't because Sunspot and Glister didn't have gain power. And I'll get one more. Magneto was tricky, though. That was a, that was a clever play, Victory. Moses Jackson. 
Clever, clever, clever play. Okay, the big house and goose, basically the same card already, or the same card location. So we're going to be locking out some high cost cards in two spots here. I don't know the history of Goose. I think that Goose is related to the Captain Marvel, right? So I don't think there's a, a mo uh, immediate relationship to the cows. Look forward to researching that and sharing that with you all. Um, what I do with this channel is I, I, I edit down this video, this stream, to about you know 20 to 30 minutes of, of highlights. Uh, this is going to be a Patriot deck, this shocker. Um, and then I upload it to YouTube, and I've been I've been researching the the histories of these Marvel characters. It's been been a lot of fun. It's been very very interesting to see how they all go. I, I'm I'm looking at Sunspot, uh, or Armor Sunspot. I should have mojo. I wish I had mojo over here. Is there definitely, definitely, definitely a Patriot deck? There, you got it down. So they're going to put a Mystique right here, probably. But if I've got Cosmo, not happening. Oh, I missed it. Is this Mystique? Oh, Crystal. Wow, I don't know if I've ever seen Crystal successfully deployed. That was... Okay, good for you, buddy. Huffin, doing, doing some moves. All long. Hope that I draw my... my stuff. Although, is Goose interesting here? To save my last turn. No, I don't want to retreat. I want them to do their actions. I'm sorry. Ooh. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to goose Mystique. Yeah, they can't play any any big cards at any location. So their, their four, five, and six cost cards are getting shut down across the board. And they're going to... <laughs> okay, Mysterio is fine. I don't care about Mysterio. I know Mysterio it works with Patriot, but like, you know, they got an abomination. They got a thing. They got a Hulk. None of it's getting played. I may have screwed myself there, though. Didn't I just screw myself? Colossus and then plus four. Because I can't play any of my cards either. This is this is this is bad experimentation. This is why you all watch the stream. So you don't have to put your cubes on the line uh, for for silly ideas like putting goose in three well in two spots plus one more. Is this gonna work? Is it gonna work? Come on, YouTube. Or come on, Twitch. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Come on, goose. Come on, goose. Puffin's looking at their hand like, what in the world is this? Cyclops. Ah, they won. They won. They had the last card that they could possibly play. <laughs> but I did stop them from playing bigger cards, so I, I, I lost by less than I would have. So Goose is doing something nice for us, I think. Awesome. You made it to the end of the video. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe and uh, feel free to check out another video of mine. See you around and have a great day.